Today in search of the ultimate two-wheel classic is at the Toronto Motorcycle Super Show. And boy, what a show it is. Today's Friday and we couldn't even get in the parking lot. It was already full by 10 o'clock. Doesn't people work on Fridays? Anyway, it's fantastic and it just shows what a great year it's going to be for motorcycling. Well, Bob, you know, is this a sign of things to come for motorcycling this year? Well, it is. You know, people talk doom and gloom and all that, but it's not around motorcycles. The enthusiasm level is extremely high. You know, I think it comes down to the enthusiasm of motorcyclists. They want what they want when they want it. And it's, it's never slowed us down on a Friday. Notice today that we've got some corporate people have moved into the show now. We've got uh, Kawasaki right here. Is this a move that the OEMs uh, are moving toward your show now, the Super Show bar? Or? Yeah, I think so. Um, you know, they've been supporting their dealers and that in this show for a long time because they know there's a lot of their customers here in this show and that. We're pleased to be able to have them back with us and we'll see what the future holds. Yeah. This is a shopping extravaganza. So you got a lot of people here that are selling jackets and helmets and also the hard parts like tires and chains and just keeping their bikes running for the season. This is the largest motorcycle show in North America. Is it really? The largest in North America? Way bigger than New York. It this this is the biggest. So because of that, we're in seven halls. We're almost a half a million square feet. So if we didn't sectionize it, it would be chaos. So we've set it out with the halls with various themes. Our Hall 1 and 2 is our cruiser and touring hall. Our Hall 3 and 3A are the industry halls. Hall 4 is the racing and performance hall. Hall 4A is the vintage and classic hall. And Hall 5 is the entertainment hall with all the custom bikes. So, Bob, talking about the different segments here at the show, uh, of course we have a vintage and you have a concourse area here, and I believe that you have probably a few machines yourself that you've displayed on at the show. Yes, I brought Vincent's again this year. Vincent's. So I have uh, actually four Vincent's in the show, but what's really exciting is we're unveiling at this show uh, a two-year project that Phil Mahood and I have worked on. This is a Vincent that was taken apart in the 60s, hasn't seen the light of day since then, and it is a Vincent Black Prince. Yeah. 